What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto. We hack all of our crypto education. If you guys are brand new here, be sure to be subscribed with notifications on for every fire video. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over Arbitrum, scaling L2 solution on Ethereum. Now, I've talked about this a dozen plus times on the channel, but now that Slingshot DAO, the DAO that I am a contributor of, is migrating over from Polygon to Arbitrum, I want to talk a little bit more about Arbitrum. In this video, I'm going to be going over Rollup, I'm going to be going over AnyTrust, I'm going to be going over Orbit, and I'm going to be going over Stylus. Those are the four different layer two solutions. And with all of these available on Arbitrum, there are people that are actively jumping chains over to this because it is a very powerful thing when you're developing on a network like this and you're rolling out new features and functionality and new solutions on a regular basis. Like Arbitrum has not slowed down whatsoever. I got a chance to meet with Arbitrum at the recent GDC conference in San Francisco in March of 2024. And there was a ton of people migrating away from Polygon over to Arbitrum. It was a noticeable change. Like there was a lot of people talking about it. And there were a lot of upcoming chains, but the one today that I wanna to talk about is Arbitrum because they're building out a suite of different solutions to scale these decentralized applications. And I really wanna talk about the top four. These four are solutions that are being developed by the Arbitrum Foundation and are really, really cool and innovative and really important for gaming and other Web3 projects. Started doing a bunch of research on the AnyTrust functionality of Arbitrum because it was focused on Web3 gaming. And when I saw that the governance proposal went through on Slingshot DAO, I was like, all right, well, I really need to focus on Arbitrum and figure out what's going on here and how the data availability committee works, how all of this works on the kind of social apps and everything that's going on on Arbitrum. So I really like that this is shaping the future of Ethereum as that base layer and the L2 sitting on top of it has all of these cool different functionalities that people can come in and use these solutions and get access to Ethereum. So a lot of technical things going on on Arbitrum, but ultimately for everybody out there that's watching this that aren't developers and you're looking into Arbitrum and gaming in general, this is probably gonna be the gaming chain. Just saying it right now, I talked about Polygon being the gaming chain, but watching what happened at GDC when I was talking to everybody running from Polygon over to Arbitrum and Avalanche, I was very surprised. And I think a lot of people were because they want support. They want grants to build out these different applications and Arbitrum is doing a good job of it. So the people who are doing a good job of supporting the developers win the developers. So it is really cool to see these four different scaling solutions that are available now and click the link below. You guys can check it out. I'm, this isn't a sponsored review or anything. I'm just really interested in Arbitrum now and clicking that link, you can see all these different solutions, the roll up antitrust, uh, orbit and stylus to do more research, depending on what you're interested in. And of course the slingshot DAO link will be below. So you guys can check out the governance proposal that went through and how that whole thing is going to bridge and happen. I'm going to quickly pop over to Arbitrum's site and talk about these four individual solutions. And this is meant for developers and people out there that are thinking about building on Arbitrum or migrating over. So let's jump onto it. You can see the powerful suite of layer two scaling solutions. We're going to start with Rollup. It is the market leading rollup technology, fraud proofs to leverage Ethereum security and reduce transaction fees, an order of magnitude. So let's pop over to the rollup. Set. So it is going to be the big power powerhouse behind DeFi NFTs in the DAO. This is a very popular concept. The rollups are huge. I've talked to a lot of different people about the different NFT communities that are involved in the Arbitrum rollup technology. And it is a game changer. I believe that rollups are very underrepresented and very underspoken about. So Web3 developers out there that are leveraging the Arbitrum rollups are already doing it behind the scenes in droves. And it's important for everybody watching this to know that this is already happening. This is alive. This is going on behind the scenes. And it's important to pay attention to. Next up, we have the AnyTrust. Now, this is the Arbitrum Nova that is under AnyTrust. The flagship AnyTrust chain leverages a data availability committee. Now, I want to go back over to this description here just to simplify it down. They've tried to simplify it the best they can, but I'm going to do everything I can to make this easy to understand. Designed for apps, they require low transaction costs and any trust chains rely on the data availability committee that settles on Ethereum, making secure Web3 gaming and social finally possible. So the key parts to take away from this is kind of like validators is how to look at this. So they're relying on the committee to store and verify data, which requires only two honest parties independent of the committee size. And this is very similar to uh, like a, a DPoS kind of concept, a delegated proof of stake, where you have validators, people that are able to confirm and govern. And I think that keeping this in a almost like a multi-sig approach where two honest parties can uh, you know, make sure a transaction goes through 
is a really clever way of, of approaching it. And I did a bunch of, of research on this and figuring out that this was the main angle that gaming was taking. It piqued my interest very much. Of course, you have your NFTs and social, but as this pertains to gaming, the Arbitrum Antitrust brings blockchain gaming to life with high transaction volumes and ultra low fees to carry out that next quest. You can see some of the builders on here and really excited to see how this develops. And you can just see that the Data Availability Committee or DAC is something to pay attention to. And this is complex stuff, everyone, but ultimately there are different on-ramps for different applications. And this is one that I am very interested in because they're focused on gaming. So to simplify down Orbit, Orbit chains are fully permissionless with dedicated throughput, increasing gas fee reliability and launch your own Orbit chain now. So this is the subnet concept from Avalanche. This is a very cool way of scaling. And I think that going between these two pages is pretty key to understand how these low transaction costs and these side chains are gonna work. So you can literally launch your own blockchain here. And it's really cool that you can use ERC-20 tokens, of course, because it's compatible with Ethereum. This is on Ethereum. And you have your custom gas token. You have your data availability layer, your governance, your stylus, which is your programming, and all of these really, really brilliant ways of developing on top of it, including Rollup as a service, which is such a powerful, powerful thing for developers to develop and deploy their own blockchains. So really love this. I like the idea that they are helping people roll out the similar architecture that Avalanche is because ultimately Avalanche has pioneered the side chains and these uh, subnets are what they call them. So very cool to see Arbitrum doing this as well. Next up, we have Stylus. This is where the developers are hyper-focused because you have many different languages or programming languages, and it's a powerful way to build on Arbitrum. Enables new ways to write smart contracts by introducing a second co-equal virtual machine that is fully interoperable with the EVM. And to simplify that down, we go to here, deploy apps on Arbitrum using your favorite programming languages, including Rust, C, and C++, while staying fully interoperable with Ethereum virtual machines. Ethereum EVMs are what that means. So these four are the key different solutions to follow. Rollups, AnyTrust, Orbit, Stylus. Very cool to see all this technology being built out. This is the future of how Ethereum will scale, how it will absorb games with any trust, and just how all of these different pieces float together is really important to follow. And last, but most certainly not least, we of course have the Slingshot DAO that is migrating over. You can see SIP 13, it is moving to Arbitrum. Super excited to finally see this happen. And the fact that the DAO uh, was you know, submitted or the proposal was submitted to the DAO and everybody got a chance to vote on it. And you can see on June 3rd, the community decided to, on the general vote, to move Slingshot DAO ecosystem to Arbitrum. And you can see the block number that is happening. And the snapshot is going to happen on Polygon for all of the Sling token holders. And you can see the migration will take place throughout June. That is this month that I'm recording this video. And you can see that it will be done by June, July, 2024. Very cool to see this happening. This is going to be happening across the entire gaming space. Just watch, mark my words, this will happen uh, over time, but it is very cool to see that Slingshot DAO is already ahead of the curve getting into this. And after GDC, hands down, this is going to be happening for 60% of all of the projects in the gaming space over the next six to 12 months. So that is it for this overview. I hope you guys like it. Be sure to slap a like on this video. It's gonna help get this out to more people. And I'm really bullish on Arbitrum and of course Slingshot DAO. Now that I know that the, the proposal passed and everything is going to be going on to Arbitrum. So be sure to check the links out in the description below and I will see you here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.